Hi, this is Brandon Slay from thirstgym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the lateral shuffle towards whatever we're throwing to, rotational med ball scoop toss. So what you're gonna want is a med ball and something you can throw the ball to, a partner, wall, some kind of object. And then what this is gonna do, this is gonna allow us to develop some rotational power, but we're gonna get some speed behind it to really accentuate the throwing power or rotational power that we can develop. So we're gonna use momentum to our advantage. So this would work great for athletes or kids that have a hard time producing a high level of force. They just look like they're slow as molasses. This helps us get some momentum generated, and then we can get some over speed out of that and really help and drive some more compressive base forces. It's gonna help aid them throw harder or hit harder depending upon what the rotational sport is. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually start away from the object that you're at. So in this case, I'm going this way, I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna start away from the wall, hold the ball, on the back side that I'm gonna throw from, so I don't want it out in front of me, I don't wanna to have to pull myself back, I wanna keep it on this side. We're gonna shuffle powerfully, one, two, maybe three steps towards the wall, and then I'm gonna let my scoop toss go as hard as I can. So I'm gonna shuffle and use that momentum to help the ball come out of my back hip faster. So again, couple shuffles towards the wall, and then really try to open that hip up as you go to throw it. So if you've ever seen the video I have where I'm shuffling away, you can tell that there's a lot more power and momentum behind this. And that's why this works great for athletes trying to develop that power. They already know how to get in their back hip. Now we wanna get them out of that back hip explosively as possible. So from some programming perspectives, probably gonna do this for three to five sets of anywhere from three to five reps per side. Clearly athletes are gonna have a dominant side that's gonna look a little more clean, a little more flush, gonna have some more power. Just make sure you still train that opposite or non-dominant side. It's gonna help keep some balances uh, away, but also still develop some power on that side as well. And then you'll have an overall better athlete. Got any questions? Drop them in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.